delicious Singapore hawker food at Maxwell Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are here at Maxwell Food Center. And if you come here before, if you've been here before, if you are here, then you'll notice one thing. There are lots of stores here that sells Hainanese chicken rice. Yes, there are almost seven different stalls at this one food center that sells this one dish. And so, a question came to mind. The question is, which shop makes the best Hainanese chicken rice, in my opinion? And so, I had to get to the difficult task of trying them one at a time. And this video is the result of that. So, when I'm curious with my tummy, I ask this type of questions. And so, let's find out the answer coming out after the intro. Welcome back. As you have guessed it, we are at Maxwell Food Center. And as I was doing a video here, or did a video here, or when I came here, I noticed one thing that piqued my curiosity, my food stomach curiosity, where I decided or I wondered why are there so many Hainanese chicken rice stalls here? That's because of Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice This store, which is world famous which attract lots and lots of tourists to come to eat this place here because of its popularity a lot of other Hainanese Chicken Rice stores open up at this food center and so I've decided to put myself on a quest put myself on a food adventure for me to find out which store makes the best Hainanese chicken rice at this food center, in my opinion. So, the task is to try all the stalls that sell Hainanese chicken rice and after that, come out with a informed opinion on which one is my favorite. And so, Let's just go to each store one by one and try out all the different Hainanese chicken rice that there is at this food center, Maxwell Food Center. And first up, at one end of the food center is this store called Heng Heng Hainanese Chicken Rice. And this store, or most of the Hainanese chicken rice stores, they actually sell mainly Hainanese chicken and also roast chicken and here are the prices so this store here normally there's not much of a queue maybe during lunch time there's a slight queue but most of the time not much of a queue and what I order from here is the Hainanese chicken rice small which cost me three dollars and here if you look at this here the portion size is actually quite good and the cut of the chicken they give me was also very good so you can see here the chicken here is meaty and lots of skin that means that there's a lot of flavor and even when you bite into the chicken the chicken also has a very nice chicken flavor coming from it which is really delicious and then you come to the chili sauce the chili sauce here is spicy uh, but it has more of a very prominent garlic flavor to the chili then the rice the rice here is a good flavor to it it's has a nice bite, cooked well, just that I suspect that it's slightly undercooked. But other than that, the rice is good. The rice is also a bit savory, but I suspect the savoriness is actually coming from the sauce that she put on the chicken. And 
it's mainly made in this soya sauce and a bit of sesame oil but overall good portion size good cut of chicken a very good start for our Hainanese chicken rice adventure Diagonally opposite is another Hainanese chicken rice store called Hong Xiang Hainanese Chicken Rice and this store here as you can see from the menu not only sells the usual Hainanese chicken rice and roast chicken they also sell other roast meats but what I order from here is also their Hainanese chicken rice small portion which cost me $4 which is more pricey than the other place and one of the priciest Hainanese chicken rice at this food center but first of all the rice here they cook it much better the rice here the individual pieces has a better bite texture to it but slightly less flavorful than the previous store and also the chicken here is boneless but the, also you can see from the portion size of the chicken is actually much less chicken and the chili sauce here is also a bit diluted a garlicky and slightly sour so overall the chicken here is more expensive the portion size seems smaller even though the rice is cooked better but I think I still prefer the previous one Hing Hing Up next we are coming to this stall called Tong Fong Fat Hainanese Boneless Chicken Rice and this stall is actually one of a chain of stalls that sells Hainanese Chicken Rice all around Singapore and here is one of the stalls they specialize in Hainanese Chicken Rice and I ordered from them they are a small portion which actually cost me $3.50 first of all the rice the rice they cooked it quite well and it also has a very prominent lemongrass ginger fragrance coming from the rice which is quite fragrant and quite nice then you have the chicken the chicken here they give you a very good cut of chicken the chicken meat is firm and the only issue I have is is the sauce the sauce that they put on the chicken here is a bit or very there's a very fruity sweetness to it which actually masks or covers a lot of flavors that's coming from the chicken and then the chili sauce here also is a bit diluted spicy garlicky but also has a very there's a bit of a sweetness to the ch chili sauce also then one thing i really like here is the soup the soup here has a very strong chicken flavor to it very thick strong chicken flavor which i really which i enjoyed quite a lot so overall my issue with this dish is that it's a bit too sweet for my liking i prefer my hainanese chicken rice to be more of on the savory side than on the sweet side up next is this stall called maxwell hainanese chicken rice and on top there is the menu which they normally sell hainanese chicken rice roast chicken and surprisingly also laksa which is a dish that you don't normally associate with this with Hainanese chicken rice so what I ordered from here is their small portion chicken rice which cost me $3 and first of all I must say the rice here they actually cooked it quite well the rice here has a very nice bouncy bite texture to it which I quite enjoyed and it's also well flavored by the sauce that they put on the chicken so this sauce here actually gives lots of flavor to both the rice and the chicken the chicken here was just average nothing really special about it the portion size is a bit small but the meat is actually nice and soft and tender but other than that it's just quite average then the chili sauce here uh, a bit diluted but there's a prominent garlic spicy taste to it then the soup here is also how do I say this just average uh, it seems like it was a bit diluted not much not enough chicken essence in the soup so overall a really average uh, Hainanese chicken rice 
and now we are finally coming to one of the big two Hainanese chicken rice stalls in this food center and it's A Thai Hainanese chicken rice. The owner of this store used to be the head cook of the Tian Tian store but he actually came out and started his own business. So I ordered from him his $3 Hainanese chicken rice, small portion. And first thing I must say is the portion size here. The portion size here is very generous. Look at the amount of meat and rice you get for the price. So I must say very good. Then next thing is the chili sauce. He makes a very good chili sauce. The chili sauce here, the flavors are all well balanced. Very well done, thick, nice, goes very well with the dish. Then you have the chicken. The chicken here, like I said, good portion size. Then soft and tender, meaty chicken pieces here. Then next up is the rice. The rice also done very well. The rice here is has a very nice bouncy texture. Each rice grain flavored very well. Then, if you notice on top there, I actually drizzled on some dark soya sauce. This dark soya sauce is actually important when you're eating the rice from both Atai and from Tian Tian. Somehow, this dark soya sauce helps to enhance the flavor of the rice. So when you're eating the rice from these two stores, you need to drizzle a bit of dark soya sauce on top of it. And then, you will have a very good, very well flavored, enhanced flavored Hainanese chicken rice. And finally, we are at the big boy at this food center, which is Tian Tian Hainanese chicken rice. And this store here is a very popular store. Popular with both locals and foreigners. World famous store, featured in some, a lot of travel programs about food. And here is the menu. So what they cook here, they concentrate on making one dish well, which is the Hainanese chicken rice. And they cook this one dish often and well. And so this place is a very popular place. This is the queue doing peak hour lunchtime. As you can see, the queue goes out the door, goes past out here into the sun. And here, what I ordered was their small Hainanese chicken rice, which cost me $3.50. First thing is, I must say, the chicken here, the portion size is not as um, generous as other places, but it's still okay. The chicken here is nice and meaty, has a nice bite feel to it, and still soft and tender. The rice here also has a bit of a lemongrass fragrance to it when you're eating it, and the sauce that they pour on the chicken actually imparts flavor into the rice, a nice savory chicken flavor. Um, not as salty as Atai, but still has a good flavor there. Then, the chili sauce. The chili sauce here is also a very good chili sauce, nice and thick with a nice citrus finish to the chili sauce, well balanced chili sauce. So both Atai and Tian Tian, the chili sauce on point, done very well and goes very well with the chicken rice. So if you come here and try the chicken rice, you will not be disappointed. But for me, I feel, in my opinion, the best way to eat Tian Tian chicken rice is to actually order half a chicken and then maybe order some desserts or liver, maybe some vegetables and share it together with three or four friends eating together because that way you can try all the different cuts of the chicken and somehow certain parts of the chicken is tastier, is, uh, has, is more tender, has more skin, you know, has the nice interesting different layer where you have the skin then the gelatin and then the meat. So this is what you're actually looking for when you're eating Hainanese chicken rice. This layering of flavors and taste. So if you have on the half a chicken, sharing with friends, then that's the best way to eat Tian Tian chicken rice. And don't forget to also sprinkle some dark soya sauce onto the rice because the dark soya sauce actually helps to elevate, to bring out more flavor in the rice. 
which is good. I thought I'd be too full to eat any more chicken rice, but there's still one last stall to try, which is this stall called Uncle Sky Singapore Hainanese Chicken Rice. And this stall here sells Hainanese chicken rice and roast chicken. And if you are with the pioneer generation, you can also get a discount on your Hainanese chicken rice. So what I ordered from here is just their small Hainanese chicken rice, which cost me $3. The first thing is when you look at the chicken, you'll notice that the chicken that was cut for me, given to me here, actually he gave me a very good cut of the chicken, which is delicious. Fresh, there's nice skin on it, it's soft and tender and very good, very nice. I like the cut of chicken it gives me. Then the chili sauce, um, it's a bit diluted but a nice mix of flavours and the rice. The rice here also done very well. The rice here is nice, it has a bouncy texture when you bite into it and it also has a very good flavour. Then. Unfortunately, the dark soy sauce given here is slightly sweet. So when you eat it together with the rice, it makes it a bit sweet. Then another surprise is when I drank the soup. The soup is actually a herbal chicken soup with nice herbal flavors. So which is a nice surprise and a very different surprise, a very different type of soup that you don't normally get when you eat chicken rice. So this place here also a very good place to have chicken rice. So, now that I've tried all the Hainanese chicken rice, which do I prefer? It's definitely... I don't know. Actually, I do. Maybe I don't. I do, I don't. Maybe. Yes. Okay. At least I know the top two. The top two will be Atai and Tian Tian. Atai, the owner, used to work as a head chef for Tian Tian. So they do have a relationship between the two brands. And because of that, when you taste the chicken, when you taste the rice, it's very similar to each other. Especially the, the texture and the bite and the flavor of the chicken. So it does have similar roots. And sometimes uh, Atai will make the chicken rice better. Sometimes Tian Tian or vice versa but this time what I felt was because Atai is slightly cheaper and the standard that Atai present on this day that I ate it was actually slightly better than Tian Tian so if I were to choose the better Hainanese chicken rice at this food center I would choose Atai Hainanese chicken rice as number one, Tian Tian a close close number two. So Atai Hainanese chicken rice number one, Tian Tian Hainanese chicken rice number two, and then number three. Number three is a bit more difficult. I felt that two stores actually uh, stood out more than the other remaining stores. The two stores were actually uh, Heng Heng Hainanese chicken rice and also Uncle Sky Singapore Hainanese chicken rice. These two places tied for number three because first thing is the price. The price is cheap. Cheapest three dollars for this food center. And then the cut of the chicken they gave me, the cut of the chicken was much better than other places and more generous in the uh, uh, portion size. So what I suggest is if you do come here, if you want to eat 10 10 Hainanese chicken rice, come early. Uh, 11, 11 30, then there's not much of a queue, you don't have to wait too long. If you come later than that, at 12, 1, then the queue is super long and you have to wait in the queue. Then, if you do not want to wait, then you, should, you can try Atai Hainanese chicken rice. They also make a very good chicken rice, which is very similar to Tian Tian. If Atai or Tian Tian is closed or not open, then you can try Heng Heng Hainanese Chicken Rice or Uncle Sky Singapore Hainanese Chicken Rice. Both places also make a very good plate of Hainanese Chicken Rice. Finally, this brings us to the end of our Hainanese Chicken Rice food adventure at Maxwell Food Center. So, the next time you come here, you know 
at least for the Hainanese chicken rice portion of this place you will know which to eat so I hope you enjoyed this question this inquiry that I made about this food item at this food center and if you want more of this type of inquiries or questions then what you need to do is you need to help me by liking my video sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure my next food adventure i will see you there bye bye